Season two of Queen Sugar is back in a big way. The show picking up where it left off after a mid-season hiatus and bringing with it new relationship drama. TV Guide Magazine's West Coast Bureau Chief Jim Halterman recently caught up with the cast for an inside look. Things are ramping up, you know? We know who the characters are, so now we can complicate them. This is about honoring the memory of my father and my family. It's about legacy. I think you're gonna see more peeling back of layers of why people are the way they are. I think for me specifically, you get to see my other side of the family come into play, and which I think everyone's been waiting for. So you get to see a little bit of why Charlie is so dang Charlie. If you come after one of us, you come after all of us. Our sister's making history. First black woman to own a mill in the state of Louisiana. Nova's a mover, she's a shaker, she's a soldier, she's a survivor, a fighter. This is her inward journey, self-care. How can she make herself better so that she can then really take care of the community that she, you know, loves so much? I ain't lying, no more. I'ma take care of it. Last year was a lot for me, you know, I've been really just trying to find my ground. Ralph Angel's going through that same process, so his process is he now has Darla and they now are taking this next step to be married and, you know, with that comes a lot of, like, you know, you gotta bring some things up in the past get over some things to get over that hump and move to the next step. They say when you're newly sober, don't get in a relationship because it's so emotional. So on the one hand, I think uh, it's a really beautiful thing. It's like a, a commitment. But on the other hand, it brings with it a whole other set of triggers. Aunt Violet is challenged and she's not really ready to address it. It is hard for her to think about her life changing. Now, I think what the audience can expect is more of a maturation period for Davis. He's, uh, he knows he messed up. You know, the, the whole world knows he messed up, but he's trying to make things right, um, especially with his family and, and Micah especially. And I think that's one of his most redeeming qualities that despite all of his transgressions, he never wavered with uh, being a, a, a great father to his son. 